Hey there, fellow spray tan artist. My name is Kimber Newton Blair. I am very proud of my new product line of self-tanning products called Elite Look Tanning. In my 14 years of experience, it has always been a dream of mine to produce a self-tanning product line. Well, dreams can come true. Now I'm here to share all my tricks and secrets with you so that you can be just as successful as I have been with spray tanning. In this video, I plan to teach you how to give a perfect and even spray tan every single time. After watching the video, if you have any questions on how to achieve a perfect and professional spray tan, feel free to email your questions and concerns to info at EliteLookProductions.org. Not only can you have fun with spray tanning, but I'm going to tell you, you can also make a truckload of money. Now let's get started. First, when you do your spray tan, I prefer to use a sheet down on the ground for my client to stand on. You can use towels, a sheet, or you can purchase the sticky feet, which you just peel off these, have your client stand on it, and then when you're done with the spray, you peel them off. Whatever you prefer is fine. I like to use a sheet, then I can just keep folding the sheet after each client. Just make sure that you do change it after each client, because we don't want our clients running around with jiffy feet. For the fan, when you're setting up your spray tent, you can use a simple box fan. I prefer to have the fan in front of my client and after I spray tan them, I turn the fan on to dry them. Other people would prefer to use the box fan in the zip section in the tent. You can unzip this and stick the fan and then that way too it also acts as an extractor fan to take the spray tan away and not fly around in your room. Before I start on my client, I always ask them the questions, did they follow instructions that I gave them when they called to set the appointment? Kaylin, did you shower and shave and exfoliate prior to coming in? Yes, Kimber. Did you wear lotion, oil, or deodorant? No. Okay, then she's followed instructions. You want to make sure that your client did not put on deodorant. The reason why I do this, after you spray tan, deodorant mixes with the solution and it turns green. So if you want your client to have green armpits, that's fine, but make sure you warn them and tell them that after they shower, that green will go away. But there's no guarantee. So you want to make sure and tell your client, no lotion, deodorant, or oils on their skin after taking a shower and exfoliating prior to their spray tan. What I choose to do, your client might not want to get it on their hair. It washes out of their hair. I have blonde hair, of course natural. I have gotten spray tan in my hair every single time. It washes out every single time. Spray tan does not affect your hair or your clothes. Everything washes out. But if your client maybe just got their hair done, you can put on a shower cap over their head if they request. Just please make sure that you're not putting it on in a manner that you're spray tanning them and that you have it off of their hairline. The next thing I do is I put petroleum jelly on a Q-tip. I hand it to my client and tell them to put it on their lips very generously, but just put it on just like lip balm so that you're not going over on your skin. This acts as a barrier cream. Barrier creams are very expensive. I would like to save you money. I don't believe in buying all these extra things that you need for spray tanning. Q-tips cost a dollar. Petroleum jelly costs a dollar. It'll last you a very long time and you don't have to waste money on expensive barrier creams that sometimes they'll use around your hands and your feet. I will show you after I'm done with the spray tan how to go back and take that off so you're not wasting money on expensive barrier creams. I'm gonna show you know how to do a full body spray. Make sure you have a pen and paper handy and take notes, hit pause when you need to. Watch the video in entirety and watch it again. I believe consistency is the key. If you don't stay consistent with every single spray tan and spray your client the same way every single time, you're gonna have an un unhappy client with uneven spray tan. So please make sure that you're following my instructions and spray tanning the exact same way every single time. Also in training your staff, make sure that they also do it the exact same way throughout your staff. That way your clients are used to, if Julie wants to do a spray or if Sarah wants to do a spray, it's all consistent. Let's start off with the face. When you're spraying the face, you wanna make sure that your client closes their eyes gently and holds their breath for three seconds. You're gonna start and do a horizontal spray going back and forth, and then a vertical spray going up and down. When your client's holding their breath, make sure you tell them to breathe when you're done, and make sure you dry the face and the neck 
after the first spray to the second spray so that you don't get creases in your neck. Now we want to be kind to the big chested women so if you do start off with a client that has a big chest you'll want to ask them to pick up their girls and then you're just going to do one easy swipe underneath them and then have them lay their girls back down. Now the reason why I do this before I start my spray is you don't want to spray them and then have them touch their girls with their hands and then get spray tan all over their hands. So if you do have a big chested person remember that you need to do this first prior to starting your full body spray. To start the full body spray, have your client put their arms out with their palms facing away from you. You're going to start with the face and tell them to hold their breath for three seconds and close their eyes. Count to three, one, two, three, and then do the neck. Make sure you're telling your client to breathe. Go back and forth in swift motions from right to left. Do the chest area and then down to your stomach and then you're going to go down from one leg to the other. Go down, stopping at the top of the ankle or the foot and then come back up. Then you're gonna move over to your other leg, go down, stopping at the top of the ankle and coming back up. The reason why I do this is because enough spray falls down on the feet. You do not directly need to spray the feet, otherwise they'll turn orange. Go back up, stopping at the neck, tell your client to hold their breath, close their eyes, and then go vertically across the face, counting one, two, three. Tell your client to turn sideways and sometimes I'll stop and go ahead and dry the neck. You want to tell your client not to look down because then it'll cause creases in the neck. Dry slowly back to forth. If you notice, I'm not using the spray, I'm only using the air on the gun. Tell your client to turn sideways. Do one swift spray over the top of the neck. People tend to forget that area. Then you want to lift the arm and do under the armpit just one quick spray. Go back and forth going down the stomach area and then going down the side of the leg. Again stopping at the top of the ankle. Coming back up, if you do a nice even spray like this every time you will get a consistent awesome spray tan. Then going down the arm go back and forth almost as if you're mowing a yard. Go up and down. Make sure that you're moving yourself with your body and not your client. Don't forget you have your client's arm in your hand and be careful in making sure that they are comfortable. Dry the inside of the arm just a tiny bit because if they were to bend their arm it would crease and run. And also too, take your gun and dry under the armpit just a little bit so that it's dry and not wet when they put their arm back down. Always check the arms. The inside of the arms tend to be wider anyway. So you might want to check for just another extra spray on the inside of the arm. Now you're finished, turn your client backwards. Again, going from the top of the neck, full body, right to left with quick motions. If they're wearing a swimsuit or a top, you might want to stop not to waste your spray. Go down the left leg, again stop, and come back up, and then go to the right leg, and come back up. Nice even motions. If you notice, some people have what I call butt smiles. What I do is have the client gently bend over. I do two quick sprays underneath the line. Then you'll want to come back up. Again, over the neck, do under the armpit, and come back down on the side. Go down the leg, and up the leg back up the side and under the arm again. Again going down the arm making sure that your client is comfortable while you're turning their hand. Be careful the placement of your other hand that you're not holding the gun with and making sure you're not covering up a piece of their arm. Dry on the inside again. I am not spraying right now. Dry the area so that it doesn't start to run or get closer in certain areas. Do under the arm, and then you'll have your client turn forward. Ask your client to pop a leg. You want to get inside the thigh, and you're basically connecting the rest of the spray, and we are almost done. Go inside the thigh and down the calf, and then come back up. Once you are done with that, then you want to check your client's arms. You have them look up as if to they're almost like lifting weights. Check that area right there under the arm because it tends to get missed. 
It's almost like you didn't connect the dots. So sometimes you need to do one spray just right down the arm. Double check the inside of the area and make sure that that's dry. If it's wet and they bent their elbows, then it's gonna crease. Again, using your gun to dry. Have them put their hands forward and just do one quick swipe over the hands. You don't want to spray too much because you have a lack of melanin in those areas and it'll tend to get orange. Then you want to double check your client. If you notice, Kaylin had deodorant on when we sprayed her, so I wanted to show you what it looked like with a green armpit. Please assure your client that when they shower the next morning after eight hours, that will definitely go away. Make sure you're telling your client everything you know. Like for instance, if you are still wet, this is what it looks like. You want to make sure and tell your client not to touch it and to let it dry. And reassure them that when you are dry, that will go away. And also when you shower in 8 hours, any imperfections that you see will definitely wash off in the shower. Also to tell your client what to know that when they do shower, they're going to see some coloration in their water. Basically, they need to shower with their palms of their hands, with soap in the palms of their hands, and wash until they see the water run clear. Then they know they, they got the top film off. Any education that you can tell your clients is great. The more, the better. That means less phone calls for you to answer. Take a baby wipe and go back over the palms of the hands. Any self-tanner that you use, your palms will turn orange because you do not have any melanin in the palms of your hands and the bottom of your feet. Also educate your client with that. I like to rub the wrist a little bit to kind of rub it in and even it out. If a client touches themselves after you have done this, then their hands will turn orange, so you want to warn them not to touch their body with the palms of their hands. I like to take the baby wipe and go over the fingernails gently. I'll take a box fan if they're not completely dry and put the box fan in front of them to dry for about one to two minutes. When you see that area disappear, you know your client is dry. Nice, even tan every time. Again, please tell your clients that any imperfections that you see, if you followed my instructions correctly, will go away after they shower after eight hours. Kaylin looks beautiful. Your clients are able to walk out the door with a beautiful, amazing, glowing tan five minutes after you've sprayed them. Again, tell your clients that it's going to get darker over the next four hours, but it needs to sit for eight before you shower. Now that I have completed a full body spray and Kaylin is completely dry, you can tell when your clients dry because they're not shiny anymore. So you want to make sure that you tell your client not to wear anything tight and constricting. When they make the appointment, make sure you tell them to bring a loose sundress or something that's not tight and also dark. My spray tan solution will come off on the clothes, but everything washes out. I've never had it stain clothes, even wedding dresses. So you'll want to, my favorite part of the spray tan is to show my client their spray immediately. You will get immediate results with this tan. So this is immediately after I have sprayed Kaylin, and as you can see, you already have a tan line. It's amazing feeling to have your client say, wow, I've been tan in five minutes. We're back with Kaylin, our spray tan model from yesterday. It's been eight hours and she has showered and not applied any lotion. So I'd like to show the progress of her tan line of eight hours of sitting. As you can see, it's a very predominant tan line. Your clients are gonna love this. That's the most amazing thing that they can be tan in five minutes, wait eight hours, and look at this progress of her tan. Now that you've completed the video, I know that this is a lot of information to take in. Just remember that consistency is the key to a successful spray tan. I wanna thank you for choosing Elite Look Tanning and trusting in our product line. I know that you will enjoy it as much as I do and it doesn't hurt to make some serious cash. Again, I'm always here for my fellow spray tan artists, so feel free to email me any of your questions to info at elitelookproductions.org. Thank you.